Hey guys, I hope you're all having a great day and today I'm going to be doing my 2018 bookshelf tour because I have just, as you can see behind me, changed all of my bookshelves, well, my only bookshelf that I had with this big uh, cube, well not a cube, it was a 2x4 and I gave it away to my mom upstairs and I bought some new shelves, so let's get started. So as you can see, it starts right there and it goes lower, low, sorry, lower. And I have a cube down here, just right there, where I've got some uh, graphic novels, French books, and at the left, I have some school books and just some other note notebooks. But these shelves actually move towards there, so they're really, really, really long. And on the upper shelf, I have all of my red books. And starting from the middle, I have all of my unread books. And in here, I have some, uh, I would say, pocket books in English. Okay, so this is the best that I got for you guys. So let's do this! The first two books in the Red Queen series by Victoria Aviar. So we've got Red Queen and Glass Sword. The Grisha trilogy by Lee Bordugo. So we have Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Rune and Rising. Love and Other Theories by Alexi Bass. The Rain by Virginia Bergen. The first book in the Darkest Minds trilogy by Alexandra Bracken, The Darkest Minds. The first two books in the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins, so we have Hunger Games and Catching Fire. The three books in the Matched trilogy by Ali Kondi, so we've got Matched, Crossed and Reached. The Face on the Milk Carton by Carolyn B. Cooney. Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen. This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle. If I Stay by Gail Foreman. A Work in Progress by Connor Frenta. Dusk by Susan Gates. Eon and Iona, the two books in the duology from Alison Goodman. Looking for Alaska by John Green. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han, the second book in the To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy. The four books in the Splintered trilogy. So we've got Splintered, Unhinged, and Ensnared by A.G. Howard. And we have Untamed, all of the novellas. The Giver by Lois Laurie. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. The Young Elites by Maria Lou, the first book in the The Young Elites trilogy. Now, going on this part, I have furthermore. But I still haven't read it, but I put it there because I want all of my Tahiri Mafi books to be together. So yeah. The three first books in the Shadow Me series. So we've got Shadow Me, Unravel Me, Unite Me, the two novellas, and Ignite Me by Tahiri Mafi. I do own Destroy Me, but I only have it on ebook. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Madsen, Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk, the first four books in the Percy Jackson series. So we've got The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse and The Battle of the Labyrinth. I have still yet to read the fifth book. The two last books in the Divergent series with For the Companion Novel by Veronica Roth. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alar Sainz. So now we are moving on to the unread shelves. The Zookeeper's Wife by Diane Ackerman. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Emmy and Oliver by Robin Benway. The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, the first book in the Magisterium series. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. The Diviners by Libba Bray. A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. Quiet by Susan Cain. Read This If You Want to Take Great Photographs by Henry Carroll. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Crap! Oh my god, what did I do? Crap! Oh, this is not good. The Killing Woods by Lucy Christopher. Stolen by Lucy Christopher. City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. The second book in the Mortal Instrument series. Point by Brandy Colbert. All Rise for the Honorable Perry T. Cook by Leslie Connor. The Eye of Minds by James Dashner. Love Letters to the Dead by Eva Delera. The Glass Spare by Lauren DeStefano. This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Dear Killer by Catherine Ewell. The Universe vs. Alex Woods by Gavin Extens. The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. The first two books in A Girl Junior C. 
Agatha and the Airship City and Agatha and the Clockwork Princess by Phil and Kaja Foglio. Alistair's Grim Odd Aquaticum by Gregory Funaro. Caraval by Stephanie Garber. How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger. None of the Above by I.W. Gregorio. Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales by the Brothers Grimm. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. The first two books in the Burn for Burn trilogy by Jenny Han and Shubin Vivian. So we've got Burn for Burn and Fire with Fire. I have though read Burn for Burn, but if I'm gonna read Fire with Fire, I'm gonna have to reread Born for Burn because it's been too long. Impulse by Alan Hopkins. The Kite Runner by Khaled Osini. My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton and Jaddy Meadows. The Magic Misfits by Neil Patrick Harris. North of Beautiful by Justina Chen Hedle. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Avenue of Mysteries by John Irving. These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Stitching Snow by R.C. Lewis. A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Maas. The first two books in the Summoner series by Taryn Mathero, The Novice and The Inquisition. The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. The first two books in The Lunar Chronicles, so we've got Cinder and Scarlet by Marissa Mayer. Positively Beautiful by Wendy Mills. Dumpling by Julie Murphy. Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Sabriel by Garth Nix, the first book in the Sabriel series. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Night Film by Marisha Pels. Pel Pestle? I don't know. My Sister's Keeper by Jody Pickled. The three books in the His Dark Materials trilogy by Philip Pullman. So we've got The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife and The Ember Spyglass. Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash, the first book in this trilogy. Incriminated by M.G. Reyes. A Book of Spirits and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, the first book in Miss Peregrine's trilogy. The fifth book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series by Rick Riordan, The Last Olympian. The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. The Lovely Bones by Alice Sebald. Scythe by Neil Shusterin, Winger by Andrew Smith, Savage by Thomas E. Snigowski, The Help by Catherine Stockett, Wild by Cheryl Strayed, the first two books in the Girl Online trilogy by Zoe Sugg, so we've got Girl Online and Girl Online on tour, The Nest by Cynthia Deprix Sweeney, The List by Shobin Vivian, Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zavin, La Ladrona de Libros by Marcus Susak, which is the Spanish version for The Book Thief. And so these are all of the books that I have not read in my shelves. All of these books are what I call pocket books, except for this one which is a graphic novel, but for this one I call them pocket books because they're just a lot smaller. The Storyteller by Jody Picoult, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, Dads Are the Original Hipsters by Brad Getty, Reasons to Stay Alive by Matt Haig, Animal Farm by George Orwell, 1984 by George Orwell, This Modern Love by Will Derbyshire, The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne, The Odyssey by Homer, The Iliad by Homer, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, and finally my only graphic novel in English, Giant Days Volume 1 by Alison Truman and Coger. And here I've got some of my favorite movies. I'm not gonna show all of them to you because it's gonna be endless, but I've got some Disney movies Right here, I've got all of my Marvel movies here. I know I'm missing a lot of movies. Uh, this is Sherlock Holmes, so it doesn't go in the Marvel series. But anyways, I've got Pirates of the Caribbean. I need a fifth one. And yeah. So down here, we have some of my French books. Right there and a bit on the bottom. I'm not going to show them all to you just because it's not that relevant. Oh, phone ringing. But I'm going to show the ones that you will know. Oh, and the book that I'm not showing is just because they are uh, French books that are not translated in English, so it's really, really not relevant for me to talk about these books. The Boy in the Strapped Pajama by John Boyne. Nuts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Ten Days in a Madhouse by Nellie Bly. Little Black Lies by Tish Cohen. The French version of The Hunger Games by Susan Collins, which is funny enough because the title is still Hunger Games. This one, I believe it is called in English Shake Hands with the Devil by Romeo Dallaire. 
The Mountain Story by Laurie Lenson. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Now here I've got the very, very ugly covers of the Shatter Me series. So here we've got Shatter Me, here we've got Unravel Me, and here we've got Destroy Me, all of by Tahiri Mafi, but I just really hate these covers. They're ugly as F. Uh, this one literally translates to Don't Touch Me. This one literally translates to Don't Resist Me. And this one translates to don't escape me, which has nothing to do with the, the, the main... Well, there's a little something to do with the main story, but I mean, like, ew. Optimists Die First by Susan Nielsen. And the only reason I bought this one in French is because it was $3 cheaper than the English version, which I have no idea why. The Man Who Listens to Horses by Monty Roberts. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, the first book in the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, but in French it literally translates to Harry Potter and the Witchcraft School. The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, this is the French and the original version. Between Shades of Grey by Rusa Sepetis. And down in the back I have some books but I'm not going to show you because they're there and my camera is not up for that angle so I'm just going to keep it right there. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. A True and Faithful Narrative by Catherine Sturtevant. And finally Brooklyn by Colm Toybin. So these are all the books that I own in French. Uh, the Here in here the graphic novels. I own them but they're all in French and to my knowledge, they have not been translated, so it's really, really not relevant for me to talk about these books because you will have no idea what I'm talking about. And so I'm gonna finish with this little shelf here because I have some books, some school books, and some just books that I didn't really know where to put. So here I have Life of Pi by Anne Marshall and The Stranger by Albert Camus because they are both uh, borrowed from a friend, so I don't want to put them in my shelves because I don't want to forget that they're not mine. And same for The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I have 100 interiors around the world by Balthazar and Last Lotation. Um, this is just a really, really interesting book, to be honest. It's just really about really, really interesting interiors around the world with really, really great designs. And I didn't really know where to put it because I don't have many books like that, so I just put it there. Running in the same style, I have great film directors from A to Z by Andy Tuohy and Matt Glassby. So this is just really, really interesting. I still haven't read it all, to be honest, but it's really, really interesting to see all of these people who have done a lot of great films and they're just really a part of history and I'm in love with that fact. I have The Way of Zen by Alan Watts. This is a book about Buddhism and I've been trying to get like many books about all of the religions of the world. I have the Bible. I didn't show you that. I'm sorry, but I have the Bible and I have a book about Buddhism. I'm just trying to really be aware of everything. So here I've got two books that I bought for school and that I didn't read. Yeah. So I have Made It to Stick by Chip and Dan Hess. So this is a book about a really generally marketing in general why ideas stick and others die which is written right there and it looks really interesting so I really want to read it and I've got Confessions of a Public Speaker by Scott Birkin this is more like a memoir other than the book well it's a book but I mean it's more a memoir because it's about this guy how he became a public speaker and at the beginning he really wasn't he was really really shy and he didn't want to be a public speaker and he became one. I also bought Humans of New York and Their Stories by Brandon Stanton. I'm also following him on Instagram and you should. His stories are really really interesting. So yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not a fan of this uh, thing here. I don't know why I'm keeping it but anyways, it's really really interesting. I have read this one entirely though but I like to keep it because it's just so interesting to see that 
there are so many lives in this world and so many different stories to be told. Everyone has something to tell and with this book they get a chance to talk about themselves, their problems, their hopes, their dreams and it's just something that I aspire to be. When I went in Portugal, I bought the Portuguese version of Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll and I didn't know where to put it because I couldn't put it in my bookshelf just because it's in Portuguese so I just couldn't put it like with the rest. And it's really interesting how different it is from Spanish because I know a lot of Spanish and I understand it very very well but in this book it is so complicated. <laughs> you... it's... it's so complicated and I just... I, I know the chapter is what they're called but then I read the first one down in the rabbit hole I was like what does this mean? And finally, finally I have a art book about Salvador Dali and I am currently making myself a bookshelf just of art books like that from Tation because I just really love the format that they have made and when you go to Indigo they're all there so I'm just really really happy about that and I mean like once a year I will buy one of these and it's just so interesting to see all of their art and you don't only get to see their most popular but you get to see everything and how they did it and why they did it so it's just really 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 interesting all of the books that i have here are in french and they're not really uh interesting for you guys so i'm not gonna talk about them but i'm gonna talk about this one because it's a book about desserts and I took this book, it was uh, a free, it was free at my library I think. No wait, oh wait no, <laughs> I'm stupid, I bought this. And it's a book about desserts that are so, so yummy, they look so good and I am just in love with this but you're gonna, I know what you're gonna say, you're gonna say, but it's not in your kitchen, what are you doing with this? Well, I don't have a kitchen yet. So this book stays with me and I'm dreaming about these things and when I will get to my real house, I will make these. So that was it guys, I really hope you enjoyed. So tell me down below if you have read any of the books that were mentioned in my bookshelves, in my bookshelves, that were mentioned in my video. Uh, was it too long? I'm sorry about that. I have a lot of books, so yeah. I'm sorry to have been away for so long, it's just been crazy at work, I've been working 40 hours every week and I get no time to do anything so it's it's been rough and yeah I'm gonna be back soon making videos every week every single week I will do it and I will be okay with it and yeah I will see you soon with a new video goodbye